Jury selection is scheduled to start on Monday, and legal experts say it will be hard to find an impartial jury and jurors who are willing to serve. Tonight, Paul Bloom looks ahead at the coming weeks and potential issues that could come up during this trial. None of this is typical. Rachel Paulos is a former U.S. attorney in Minnesota and now a law school professor at the University of St. Thomas. So I would ask you, how many people do you know who, who haven't heard about this case? Paulos explained the challenges of finding an impartial jury for Derek Chauvin's murder trial, given the overwhelming amount of attention the case has received since George Floyd's deadly arrest last May. And that is making sure that a prospective juror can put aside any biases and opinions they may have formed to decide the case fairly by following the law and evidence presented inside the courtroom. If the exposure that a person has is because of exposure to a truthful video whose accuracy no one contests, I wouldn't call that bias. I would call that knowledge. To begin weeding out jurors and streamlining the selection process, this 14-page questionnaire was sent out to hundreds of prospective Hennepin County jurors months ago requesting that they not read, intentionally view anything further, or do any subsequent research about the case, and asking their opinions on a number of topics, including Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, and whether they've ever been restrained in a chokehold. One of the things that does concern me uh, will be the demographics of this jury. Former Hennepin County Chief Public Defender Mary Moriarty worries some of the questions will ultimately eliminate black or prospective minority jurors who might be more inclined to express negative opinions about the police. She's also thinking about the impact of COVID and the unprecedented security measures in place that some might find intimidating, even though the court is promising to keep the jurors' identities anonymous. The concrete barriers, the barbed wire, the fencing, you do have to wonder what impact that has on the minds of these jurors. Coming on Monday, we expect to see individual jurors, known only by a randomized number, called to the witness stand, where they'll be questioned by Judge Peter Cahill and the attorneys. The court looking for 16 people, a jury of 12, and four alternates to begin the trial, with both sides allowed to strike people from the pool for various reasons. The process currently scheduled to play out over the next three weeks. Paulos remains optimistic. My experience with juries is that they, they do take their responsibilities seriously. Um, they do understand that they, that they literally have life and death in their hands. Also on the horizon, Judge Cahill said he will sequester this jury once they get to deliberations, meaning they will not go home until reaching a verdict. He also suggested it remains a possibility, depending on what happens, that this jury might get sequestered for the length of the trial. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.